Something I find really helpful as a TCG player is being able to look at OCG decklists and see what they're playing that we currently aren't. One of these cards that really caught my eye recently while I was checking out some of these deck lists is Red Rose Dragon. It's finding play in Dragon Link and Synchro Good Stuff decks, and its effect doesn't seem all that impressive. What it does is it allows you to special summon a Rose Dragon monster from your deck if it's used as Synchro material. So why is this card being played in the OCG but not here in the TCG? There's a couple of answers to that question. Uh, for starters, this card pairs very well alongside the Brave Token Engine. You don't need the Brave Token Engine to use it, but it has a lot of incidental synergy. Additionally, this card helps to enable Boral End Dragon, a card that we don't currently have in the TCG, but we should be receiving here in a couple of months. Basically, any time Red Rose Dragon is used as a Synchro material, it allows you to special summon a Rose Dragon monster that searches a monster reborn. That will allow you to revive Red Rose Dragon and give you two Dragon materials. So you'll be able to either make a Heavenly Spear, or you can go into Halka Fibrax in order to further push your combos. Either way, if you start with a level 7, your combo is going to be protected, and you're going to be able to make a Striker Dragon no matter which one you choose, which means you're going to be able to search Boot Sector Launch, and any Rocket Monster in hand is enabled. So normal summoning Red Rose Dragon isn't as bad as it looks on paper. So the base combo ends you on Baroness to Fleur plus Boral End Dragon, but any Dragon Monsters or Dragon Extenders are usable in hand from this position, so you're going to be ending on quite a bit more than just that most of the time. This same combo going second allows you to OTK your opponent while playing with protection and giving you the ability to pop 5 cards your opponent controls at minimum. This specific combo is going to be completely legal for us to play pretty much the second that the Brave token stuff comes to the TCG, which as of the time of this video should be here in just a couple of weeks. Uh, it's pretty crazy looking at it though, because even Dragon Link in the OCG is playing the Brave token engine. This stuff's going to be very, very dominant for both rogue and competitive strategies. It's important to understand when looking at OCG decklists that the OCG plays at a very different pace than we do. They have max C, but the Brave Token engine is an engine that kind of favors how we play here in the TCG. It lets you play around hand traps, so it's going to be even more viable here in the TCG than it would be in the OCG. At least in the OCG, you can chain max C to Rites of Armesia. As TCG players, we have far less ways to respond to it. Now I had mentioned that Red Rose Dragon is played in Synchro Good Stuff decks in the OCG, and that's true, but we aren't going to be able to use those here in the TCG nearly as well, because they play several cards that are banned for us. I'm going to show this combo in case you want to see how they use this in the OCG, or if you have any interest in playing in an OCG format. However, I will also show kind of a modified version of it for the TCG, but obviously the combo isn't going to be nearly as good as the OCG counterpart, because they're playing three cards that are banned for us. It's a lot to uh, modify. This is a 2.5 card combo in the OCG though. You just need a level 7 uh, plus Red Rose Dragon. Normally they'd be using something like one of the level 7 Tenyis in order to accomplish this, and then you would need a discard, so it is a 2.5 card combo. But this is going to end on between 4 to 6 interruptions, depending specifically on how you're going to utilize your cards, and most importantly, it ends you on a counter trap, so you're going to be able to play around a card like Dark Ruler no more. Now in the TCG, we can make a board off of a similar start. A level 7 plus Red Rose Dragon allows us to make a pretty decent board. However, we're going to have to play some cards that are a bit brickier in order to accomplish this. And unfortunately, we won't be able to search a counter trap either, so the board isn't going to be nearly as strong. But overall, considering that you're just starting with two cards, this is a pretty decent board, and this specific combo is completely legal here in the TCG right now. It doesn't utilize the Brave Token Engine at all, and it doesn't utilize Boral End Dragon. Really, the only reason we're able to make any kind of substantial board here is because of Cupid Pitch. It really helps to enable Halka Fibrax lines here in the TCG, while in the OCG you'd be better off just using your uh, Aurora Dawn in order to summon O-Lion from deck. That's just way more efficient. But, you know, thank god the TCG does have Cupid Pitch. So, is it worth running Red Rose Dragon? 
Uh, I don't think it is outside of Dragon Link decks once we get the Brave Token stuff and Boral and Dragon. Like in Synchro Good Stuff decks, I don't think it's worth it. However, I do think it is a good option in the future for Dragon Link decks. And of course, I think there's a lot of future potential for this engine. Uh, if anything comes off the ban list, or if they print something that helps to enable it just a little bit, I think it's going to be really good in the future. So if you don't have it, I'd recommend looking into picking it up. It is really cheap right now. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, consider like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps the channel grow, and I know I appreciate it.